News 2 at 6. Good evening, everyone. Welcome into News 2 at 6. I'm Alex Dennis. Haley Wilgus has the evening off. And I'm Bob Mueller. An 80-year-old truck driver is killed in a crash this morning, and now construction crews have to work on the damage that was left behind. It happened on Interstate 40 westbound right at the Mount Juliet Road overpass. News 2's Valencia Wicker joins us live from Wilson County with the very latest. Valencia. Well, you know, it's been 13 hours since that fatal crash, and one lane of I-40 is still shut down. Transportation officials now telling us it will take weeks to get all the work done. It's a major thoroughfare for folks who live and work in the area. On a normal basis, it's, it takes you 15, 20 minutes time you get through here to get on the interstate sometimes. The Mount Juliet Road exit already known for heavy traffic and consistent delays. It's hard to turn in and to get access to these gas stations and to these places to eat. I use this road to get to my job site uh, here in Mount Juliet and it took me about 20 minutes extra to get here today and I had to meet a brick mason and that delayed my meeting and so it, it affects people. TDOT now saying it will take a lane closure and at least three weeks of repairs to fix the damage made. That work could last longer if crews find any additional issues while working. Drivers like Harrison have already started planning ahead. I'll have to probably get to my other job site 30 minutes prior so that I can be here when I need to be and just I'll, I will anticipate on this drive taking 30 minutes extra. We are now learning the name of the driver involved in this accident. We are told that he is 80 year old Luther Stinson. He was from Nashville. From Mount Juliet, Valencia Wicker, News 2. Valencia, thank you. We have team coverage on this crash tonight. The big rig slammed into a column supporting the overpass from Mount Juliet Road. And now you can see here clearly has to be repaired. TDOT is now moving forward on fixing the damaged support member. They say there is extensive damage to the column itself, but there are no other parts of the bridge structure that were damaged by either the crash or the fire. TDOT says that the repairs itself should happen quickly, but they have to wait 10 days for the concrete they have poured to cure. We hope to maintain three lanes of traffic during those repairs, but that means that we're down a lane. This is normally a four lanes in each direction. As you guys mentioned, this is a construction zone. There is a reduced speed limit here. It's important that people use caution, not only for our workers, but also to prevent accidents like this. And one other thing to keep in mind, if you drive through the area frequently, the traffic pattern will shift in the next 24 hours as they begin repairs.